let us move on to our next result which says that the multiplicative group of non zero elements of field it is regarding the multiplicative uh, group of non zero elements of a field so as i have told you every field contains a abelian and abelian group under addition and abelian group under multiplication and the third is it follows all the distributive properties so that means here we do not have one element that is the additive identity that is we do not have zero element present here because when you divide by zero there is a problem so in this theorem we shall be talking about this abelian group which is formed by multiplication of this field f okay so let us see what is the result the result is the multiplicative group of non zero elements of a finite field that is cyclic so this is a very important result so let us try and prove it so if we denote by f star the multiplicative group of non zero elements of f so that means what is f star f star is equal to all the elements of f minus one element that is the zero element so this is your f star and this represents the multiplicative multiplicative group of non zero elements okay so we have a result from group theory which states that if a and b are any two elements if a and b are any two elements of a finite abelian group of orders m and n so that means the order of a is equal to m and the order of the element b is equal to n then we say there exists some another element c whose order is the lcm of m and n so that that is what we have to prove so there would be some element which would be the lcm of this n and this n so using this result let us try to prove the theorem the theorem says we have to prove our given group that is cyclic in nature so we have to prove this f star is cyclic in nature so for that what we do we consider an element alpha from this f star and we consider r to be the lcm of orders of all the elements of f star so this result was available for two elements now what we are doing we are taking the uh, all the elements of this f star and we, then after that we take the lcm of all those elements lcm of orders of all those elements so that lcm is equal to r that is one thing so we would say then the order of each element of f star would divide r so that is the case because what was r r was the lcm of orders of all elements of f star so every order would divide r because this is the lcm so that is why for any element a we would have a to the power r is equal to 1 because r is the lcm so it would also form the order as uh, it would be greater than the order obviously so if you say a n is the order so a n would be 1 but because n r is the lcm of n so that means n could be written as some r into s so that means you could write a to be the power r s is equal to 1 so that means ultimately you are writing a to the power s to the power r is equal to 1 so that is why you, we obtain this result so anyway ignore this one so what we are saying we are saying next is the number of elements which are present in f star would be less than equal to r because the polynomial x to the power r minus 1 has at most r roots in f so this polynomial because it has degree of r so the maximum number of roots which are available in f would be r right and because f star is smaller than f so we would say the 
we have this inequality sign over here. So, uh, because we have shown that every element of this F star A would have the degree, the order as R, right? Because R is the LCM of all the elements. So, we say the elements of F star are of this type alpha raised to power 0, alpha raised to power 1, up to alpha raised to power r minus 1 and they all are distinct. So that means f star would be generated by alpha because you see every element is written as some power of alpha and this power goes up, uh, uh, goes up to r minus 1 because r was the LCM of all the orders. So here we say because f star that is generated by a single element alpha here, hence the given f star, the given abelian non-zero multiplicative group that is cyclic. So this is what we were to prove here and moreover the good news is that we also have a converse corresponding to this theorem. The converse says that if the multiplicative group F star of non-zero elements of F is cyclic. So, now we are given F star to be the multiplicative group that is the same as we took in the previous case. But now we are considering this to be cyclic. Then we have to prove F is finite in this particular case. So, we have to prove this is finite. So, we have to prove the given field is finite. So, for that, let us write what we are, uh, what, what do we have? We have F star and this is given to be cyclic. We are to prove F is finite. So, because F star is cyclic, so we can consider very easily L, uh, this F to be generated by some single element alpha where we say this alpha is the generator of the given field. So, f, uh, now we are to prove f is finite. So, for that we assume case, assume the case that if f star is finite, what about f? Then f is also finite field because we only add a single element 0 to it. Because this, if this is finite, then we, when we add one single element 0 to this finite field, so this would also be finite. So, in this case, the result is proved. For the second case uh, or in for the other case, we assume that this F star, if possible, this is a infinite cyclic group. But we have to prove the opposite. That means we have to prove that F is finite. So, for that we are assuming the opposite result. We are assuming that this is an infinite cyclic group. So, let us see what would happen next. So, here in the first case, we assume that now F is any arbitrary field. F is any arbitrary field. So, that means it could have any characteristic. So in general, we assume that in the first case that the characteristic of F is P, where P is some positive quantity. So, in this case, if we consider F as an extension field of FP, where FP is nothing but its prime subfield, that means it is the smallest field which is contained in S, then we can write E to be FP alpha because we know every FP that is isomorphic to integers modulo P. This we have done already. And what is this set? This set contains all the equivalence classes 0, bar 1, bar up to P minus 1, bar. So, in this case, we consider F as the extension of FP like this. And what is this? FP has an extension F. And we are saying if you adjoin one single element alpha here to it. So, we call this to be another extension field E. So, in this case, what would happen? If 1 plus alpha is equal to 0. If 1 plus alpha is equal to 0, 
that means if you multiply by alpha what would you have you would have 1 plus alpha is equal to 0 so that means alpha into 1 plus alpha that would be alpha into 0 so you would have alpha plus alpha square is equal to 0 so now considering this part and this part so from here you could say we would have when you subtract alpha from this we would have 1 plus alpha minus alpha that would be alpha square plus alpha minus alpha so this alpha and this alpha would make identity and this alpha and this alpha would make identity so we were, we would only be left with the quantity here as this uh, alpha square minus 1 so this is the quantity that we are only left with so from here you can see what is the order of alpha because the definition of order says if you have uh, alpha power n is equal to identity where this is the smallest element then that is the order so here we have alpha to the power 2 is equal to 1 and 1 is the multiplicative identity therefore the order of alpha that is 2 and this is finite so it implies that because f star is cyclic and the order of the generator of alpha comes out to be a finite number therefore it implies that f star is finite and if f star is finite so it would give you a contradiction because f would be finite in this case but we have assumed here that f star is infinite cyclic group so this is a contradiction so that means this particular case is not possible so if this is not possible so let us assume the element 1 plus alpha is not equal to 0 so what is this element because this is a non-zero element so obviously alpha alpha where was all alpha alpha was present in f and uh, because this is a non-zero element 1 plus alpha belongs to f because this is non-zero so that means it would all obviously go to this f star because f star has the same elements as that of this alpha except the zero elements so it will go to this f star but what is your f star f star is generate is cyclic and it is generated by this element alpha that we already know so that means you could also write this particular element 1 plus alpha as the sum power of alpha so from here you have a polynomial in alpha over fp where alpha is the root of that particular polynomial so that means for you have this thing so that means you have some polynomial here whose root is alpha so that means this alpha becomes an algebraic element over fp if this becomes an algebraic element so we could calculate the degree of this S, uh, fp alpha over fp so what would be that that would be the degree of the minimal polynomial constructed by this alpha and what is the minimal polynomial constructed by this alpha this is this polynomial so accordingly we would have the degree of this polynomial as r so the degree of this extension field fp alpha over fp is r now if the degree of some finite extension is equal to r so and the characteristic of that extension field is equal to p because in this case we consider it to be p so in this case by the previous result the extension field would have p to the power r elements within it which is a contradiction because p to the power r elements they are also finite in nature but we have uh, we, we, uh, we have assumed in the very beginning that this is an infinite field so this case is also not possible so that means or in both the cases whenever we have characteristic p we have a contradiction so that means this field f star has to be a finite field and consequently f has to be finite in nature for the second case we say uh, we see what would happen whenever the characteristic of f is equal to 0 so when the characteristic of f that is equal to 0 so here we would say here we would see whether this is whether f is a finite field or not so for that p 
we consider the multiplicative identity present in f so this because this is present in f and we are saying f is cyclic therefore this minus 1 could be written as some power of this generator alpha so we could square both sides so we would have 1 is equal to alpha to the power 2r which shows that the order of alpha is finite and 2r but we have in the very starting assumed that this f star was infinite cyclic multiplicative group of non-zero elements so this is a contradiction because we got the order to be finite so that means f star must be finite because we got a contradiction in every case whenever we assume this f star to be an infinite cyclic group therefore all the, the the assumption that is made in the very starting is incorrect and we say f star has to be a finite in order for f to be a finite field so that is what we would say here so i hope this is clear to you